What's up gamers? This is Carbon. Um, I got a loot filter working for single player today. Um, all I did was follow the instructions on the website, which I'll we'll show you how to do it. It was a little confusing at one point, but I figured it out and this video is going to be about this. But this is what it looks like. It's fantastic. I'm a boomer and I have old eyes and I wear glasses and this helps me in Lower Kuras so much. It's, well, it helps you everywhere. It's amazing. Uh, shout out to who made this. Very good job. Now, do not use this online. This is single player only. You will get banned. So, yeah, don't do that. One more thing I forgot to add is all it does is just shorten it's nothing game breaking, it just shortens some names like these potions, it changes the colors of certain things. Like you could see the grand charm and the small charm here that's unidentified is red, so you could, you know, if you're playing player 7 you could see them easily. And then runes that are higher than, I believe it's higher than Lem, there you get this pick me up icon. Like this code is orange, regular. Oh, and uh, these diamonds this diamond here that's a flawless uh, that's displayed by the star and this perfect one is displayed by um, that at symbol and the potions are shortened so they don't take up a bunch of screen space when you open a like a LK chest or something okay so for the setup this is what you need to do you need to go to nexusmods.com which I will put this link in the description below um, once you get there click on description this tab right here uh, scroll down it gives you some general information uh, the installation is right here I will go over this with you but it is right there step by step if you want to just do it by yourself I found that the second version is um, easier than this top version all right, the second thing you need to do is make a mods folder and you uh, wherever your Diablo 2 Resurrected is installed. Mine's installed in Program Files, Diablo 2 Resurrected. So the way you do that is just to right-click and go to New and type in Folder. Uh, click Folder right here and make a folder called Mods. Okay, the next step is to go back to the website I linked the Nexus mod site, go to the files tab here and do download this D2R loot filter MPQ version right here. You will have to make an account on this website um, to download it. You, it's also a RAR file, so you need a way to extract that. Um, you could look, uh, download one on rarlab.com and I'll put a link in the description for that. Once you download it and you got a way to extract it, just extract it into the folder that you made earlier called mods. Um, just put it. This is your Diablo 2 resurrected and you made that file called mods. Extract it there. The next step is to go back to your Diablo 2 resurrected folder um, and Right click um, the D2R EXE, this one, not the not the launcher, but the D2R EXE, and go to create shortcut. And then once you create that shortcut, right click on that, go to properties, and then in the target line, go to the very end, do a space, do a dash, mods, mod. Actually, let me get that, make sure that's clear. Yeah, do slash mod filter. Oops, let me click back on that. Filter like that. Then click apply and OK. And then run that shortcut that you created. This just basically separates um, the modded folder versus the regular folder. And it also creates, uh, you run the game and it creates a separate save file from your original files. So I will show you how to do that. 
um, how to put those files into this new file next. Okay, after you ran that shortcut, you need to copy your save files into the new save files it created. So my save files are in save games, D2 resurrected. And then you need to copy, not these yellow folders, but these white folders, these white files. I have a lot of characters. So I copied everything, all this, copied all these characters. These are all my characters um, into the mods filter folder. Copy them all into there. And now all your characters are in that file that you installed. Then you take that shortcut that you made. Mine's right here. I'm going to click on that. My game's going to start. Go to offline. And... Should be working. Let's... There it is. If this helped you out in any way, just uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching.